Hey, what's up? Today I wanted to make a review for Pop! OS and why I'm choosing to stick with it for now. And as of right now, I've been using Pop! OS every day for about three months now. And so hopefully my experience can be useful to you. All right, so first of all, what exactly is Pop! OS? And Pop! OS is a Linux distribution operating system that is free and open source. And Pop! OS is based on Ubuntu and Ubuntu is based on Debian and the operating system used a customized GNOME desktop environment called Cosmic. And it is being developed by the company called System76, which also makes uh, desktop and laptops and all sorts of uh, hardwares. And so the first thing that I like about the operating system is that the, fr the code is free and open source. And so if you scroll down here, you can see that there's a button for the GitHub repo and you can basically have access to the, uh, to the code and you can inspect it if you want and all sorts of things. And so personally, I don't look at the code myself. I, it's not really interesting to me, but I just find it interesting that anybody can go and look at the code. And if anybody has doubts or, or insecurities about the operating system, then they can just go look at it. And so ultimately, I haven't felt the need to look at it, but from my perspective, it gives me some sort of feeling of uh, trust and transparency because uh, the code is not hidden and so anybody that is curious about the code can literally go look at it. And the second thing that I like about Pop! OS is that it is secure and it is private. And so Pop! OS respects your privacy and so it does not collect or store any uh, user information or whatever. And so you just install the uh, operating system on your computer and that's it, that's all. There's no tracking or whatever, there's no online account and so the account that you have on your computer is totally local. There's nothing on the cloud that they, there's nothing that syncs with any server. And so if you compare it, for example, with Windows, where you actually need to have an online account and then there's a cloud and all sorts of telemetry. And so I just like the fact that it is private. It respects my privacy and that's kind of what it is. And also it comes with encryption out of the box. And so the first time that you install Pop! OS, uh, you have the option to encrypt everything on uh, the drive and so it's called the full disk encryption and so by default it's enabled and so here for example when you install it uh, you have this window that pops off and so it gives you the option to encrypt your uh, your drive if you actually want to and so in my case I don't use this feature because I live alone in my apartment and so uh, nobody have really access to my computer except me and so I don't use it but if you have some sort of family or if you have like roommates or whatever or if you're in a work environment then I think that this feature about the encryption could be, uh, could be uh, useful but in my case I don't use it because uh, as I said, I'm alone and so if I use this encryption here, it's kind of a little bit less performant and so because I'm alone, I don't feel the need that I have to use it. But the fact that the feature is there by default, I just think it's really interesting. The third thing that I like about Pop! OS is that it is easy to use and compatible with pretty much anything. And so Pop! OS is perfect if you are some sort of beginner and if it's your uh, first Linux operating system because everything works out uh, out of the box and personally the only thing that I dislike about Linux is the terminal here but since I'm on uh, uh, Pop! OS I've never felt the need to use a terminal I think I used it once where uh, I kind of had like some sort of advanced needs related to some files and so I had a bunch of files that I wanted to manage and so I used the terminal to do some uh, advanced manipulations but I think that most people and most average users don't really need the, uh, the terminal here and so they probably won't need to use a terminal and so for me that's a big plus because I don't want to use it, I'm not interested in using it and if you actually need a software or whatever, then you can simply use the Pop! OS shop here to install any software. And so here, this uh, Pop! Pop! Shop or whatever, uh, it's kind of similar to the Windows Store uh, on Windows or it's kind of similar to the uh, Google Play Store if you have an Android or the Apple Store if you have uh, an Apple phone. 
And so if you're looking for an application, you just go go look at it and that's kind of what it is. But if you do need a more specific software that you might have to install manual or whatever, it's not really a problem because Pop! OS is based on Ubuntu, which is also based on Debian. And both of these Linux di distributions are really popular. And so you won't have any problems like installing a software, maybe with a Deb installer, maybe with a NAP image or something like that. And so it's not a problem. Or you can probably find the instruction to, f to install a software uh, using the Debian or Ubuntu uh, distribution. Now, the fourth thing that I like about uh, Pop! OS is the cosmic environment. And Pop! OS has its own customized environment. And so if we look at it, uh, for example, here, uh, this is the cosmic environment right here. And there's also uh, this thing right here. And so I just think it's, it's cool. I love using it. And I love the fact here that System76 is trying to build something new. They're trying to build something different and refreshing. And to me, it feels colorful, it feels fun, it feels modern, it feels fluid. And so overall, I just love using Cosmic uh, for all these reasons. And the fifth thing that I love about Pop! OS is that if you choose to, you can also uh, install Pop! OS using NVIDIA here. And so for me, it's a big plus because as of right now, the computer that I have as an NVIDIA graphic card. And so because of that, uh, I think the NVIDIA driver is pretty interesting. So in my case, I do play video games, I do uh, video editing, and I do some advanced thing using my GPU. And so I think the NVIDIA driver is pretty interesting. That being said, if I were to purchase a computer today, I would try to purchase a computer that is optimized for Linux. And so maybe I would try uh, maybe uh, hardware that uses AMD so that I can avoid, ultimately I would try to avoid uh, proprietary drivers and softwares. And so maybe actually System76 computers could be a good thing that I could purchase for my next computer. And the sixth thing that I love about Pop! OS is that Pop! OS is targeted for gamers and creative professional, which is exactly uh, who I am. And so just like I said, I do play video games and most of the work that I do is some sort of creative work. And so in my case, I do graphic designs, I do uh, video editing. And so in my case, most of the software that I use are Inkscape, GIMP, Shotcut, uh, OBS and all these things. And so the cool thing is that out of the box, all, most of these softwares comes out of the box, they come by default. And so overall, I just think that it's really interesting and ultimately it makes me feel at home. Now about the thing that I dislike about Pop! OS, the first thing that I dislike about it is the Pop! OS shop. And so to me, it feels a little bit slow and laggy. And so for example here, let's say that I open it the first thing that it does is that it checks it checks for updates and so it's i just find that annoying and so for for some reason why i when i open it 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 goes on my install app and so i just think it's not so good and so ultimately i think that it should always bring me on the home page here on the home store or whatever and instead of instead of always checking for updates maybe we could have like some sort of uh, refresh button or whatever and so as of right now each time that I open it it's always loading and checking for updates and I just find that annoying because sometimes when I'm looking for a certain software or whatever uh, I kind of have to wait I just find it frustrating and annoying because now I have to go on the home page and now I have to wait for it to load and now then I can check for my software. And so I just think that it wastes my time a little bit and uh, that's kind of what I think. The second thing that I dislike about it is everything related to Windows moving and Windows snapping. And so it just feels laggy and not so good. And so in my case, it's quite important because as a print on demand seller, I play a lot with my Windows and you know, I just play around with this like this. So far it does, it feels quite good, but sometimes it just feels laggy. And so in my case, it's important because uh, for example, if I use Amazon Merch and if I upload on Amazon Merch, I use my Windows like this and, and it's a, quite an, an important feature that I use, but it's just that when I, sometimes when I play with these Windows and when I snap with the Windows, 
uh, it's not so good and right now it seems fine but sometimes it's la it lags it feels slow and sometimes it will literally freeze and so maybe it's related if it's a big application right now I'm just playing around with it with not many things going on but maybe it's more related if I have more processes going on but sometimes it just feels slow laggy and it's not so fun to play with it. The third thing that I dislike about it, and here it's not that big of a deal, but there are some of the default app that I don't like that much. And so for example, I don't really like uh, Geary, which is the email client that basically comes by default with uh, Pop OS. And I tried using Geary in the beginning, but uh, I, don't, I, I just think that Thunderbird is much better because Thunderbird, uh, it's much, I feel like it's much more powerful and I just think that it is much more customizable. And so Gary, yes, it works, but it's much more minimal. But I just think that Thunderbird has much more features and because of that, I just prefer using Thunderbird. It's just my uh, personal preference. And so another default app that I dislike is kind of Firefox. I mean, I understand that Firefox is known to be free and open source. And if you're using Linux, it's probably like, it, it always has been the default web browser for Linux users, but the thing is that in my case, I'm a print-on-demand seller and I sell a lot on Amazon Merch on demand. And so in my case, I do need extensions that are only available on the Chrome store. And so those extensions are quite niche. And from my understanding, and as of right now, I don't think that these extensions are available on Firefox and because of that I kind of need a web browser that is based on Chromium because I want to use these extensions to do my work and so these extensions are basically productor for Amazon Merch and also Podly Chrome extension for Amazon Merch and so I need these extensions to actually do my work and because of that I am using Brave Brave browser because it is based on Chromium and so it's not that big of a deal you can just install it using the Pop OS store but it's just that uh, the default options that comes with Pop OS might not be exactly what you want and so that's just something to keep in mind and so another thing that I dislike about Pop OS is that it is not being developed by a community driven uh, Linux distribution and so for example uh, Linux Mint, which is also another popular Linux distribution, is completely community driven. And so because of that, because it is community driven, it means that um, they actually have the end users in mind. The, these people and this community is literally building Linux for themselves, if that makes sense. And so here Pop OS is managed by corporations and because it is managed by a corporation, I'm assuming that they might not have exactly my best interest at heart because ultimately they might optimize for money and some revenue and profits. And so because of that, they might sell out at some point or something like that. For example, a few years ago, Canonical, the company that is managing Ubuntu, made a few mistakes because they tried to silently make money using Amazon affiliate links. And because of that, many users did not like that. And another thing about Ubuntu is that they also have privacy issues and they also some sort of data collection. And so ultimately, uh, Pop OS, it's fine. I don't think they're doing it right now, but maybe at some point they might start doing these sorts of things. Maybe uh, as of right now, they seem to care about privacy, but maybe at some point they will uh, collect some sort of data. Maybe they're going to uh, optimize for profits. So that's something to keep in mind. Another thing that I dislike about Pop OS is that uh, I talked about Ubuntu, obviously, and Pop OS is based on Ubuntu. And I think that the fact that Pop OS is based on Ubuntu can help, yes, the development and, and some sort of features because they can kind of work together, if that makes sense. But since I don't really trust the company behind Ubuntu, maybe Pop OS here, they might have to do the same thing that they did with uh, Linux Mint and so Linux Mint here they have a Debian edition and so maybe at some point they might have to remove themselves from Ubuntu and maybe they could create some sort of Debian base instead of 
uh, Ubuntu base so, so that they can remove themselves from Ubuntu. And so it's just my own thoughts. Uh, since I don't trust Ubuntu, uh, I'm not sure if on the long term, uh, being based on Ubuntu is actually a good thing. And so even though I have these things that I dislike about it, I'm, I think I'm still going to stick with Pop! OS because for now, I just think that it's great. I just think that the operating system is perfect for me. And so in my case, I'm a gamer, I'm a creative professional. And so it seems like Pop! OS is targeting exactly these types of people. And so, yes, I could also try different Linux distribution, but I just, th I just think that upping distributions all the time, I just think it's a waste of time. And so, yes, I could do that, but I just think that I would prefer sticking with one thing that works. And right now, I just think that Pop! OS seems perfectly fine for me. And so it is free and open source. It is secure. As of right now, it seems to respect my privacy. Uh, it is unique. It is fun and easy to use. And as of right now, I don't have to use a terminal that much, except if it's for like very advanced needs. And so I think as of right now, I think I use a terminal maybe once or twice. It's not that big of a deal. And it also comes with the NVIDIA uh, graphic card driver, which I really like because I have an NVIDIA graphic card on my computer. And so if it comes by default, then it's just great I can use it. And so yes, there are a few minor things I dislike about like the snapping and the shop. And I don't think that it's not that big of a deal. And I'm pretty sure that uh, maybe they could try to fix it over time. And so those things are fixable, obviously. But what really worries me on the long term is the corporate interest of System76 and its affiliation with Ubuntu. And so on the long term, I'm not sure if uh, uh, these interests are going to conflict with my own. Maybe at some point they might try to do some uh, shady gimmicks. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's pretty much it for this video. And I hope that this video was helpful to you. And if this video was helpful to you, you could consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And if you have any thoughts or comments, you can leave them below because I will answer everything and your thoughts could also be valuable to other people. So that's pretty much it. Peace.